Good morning. Thanks for joining me today for our daily devotion. I'm so glad you're here. I'm coming to you on location today. I am out in Kearney, Nebraska for the annual Fall Theological Conference for all the pastors of the Synod. So I have rented a tiny house and that's that's what you're seeing. The bedroom is up that way and this is the bathroom over here, back here. <clears throat> and on the other side of that is another bedroom. So um, just really fun. This is a, it's, it's glamping, truly. Um, and just a, an incredible use of space, which for me and my personality type, I deeply appreciate that. So I love staying here. I've been here before and uh, just really enjoying myself. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the, the conference that starts later this afternoon. Uh, the cat shaming photo of the day is my name is Marbles and I was caught eating a muffin out of my mother's school bag. Oh, dude, that's no good. Lucy's never done that. Um, today's number is $556.37. Herman Melville's total earnings from the 3,715 copies of Mo Moby Dick that sold during his lifetime. The now classic novel was first published as a three-volume edition titled The Whale on this day in 1851. <clears throat> never read Moby Dick. I know the story, but I've never heard it. Or I've never read it, rather. Oh, today is the feast day of St. Luke, the evangelist. Um... And so the verse is from the first chapter of Luke as he introduces his gospel. And it says, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus. Theophilus means um, brother of God, I think. Uh, yeah. So, so he's, Theophilus is not necessarily a person. It could have been. Um, but Theophilus is more to the brothers and sisters, of course, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> and this is what they write. I have long been drawn to the theory that Luke and the author of the books that we call Luke and Acts addressed his two volume work to the whole community of believers using the code name Theophilus. See, I didn't read this ahead of time. It adds a level of intrigue to imagine the authorities checking Luke's mail, quote unquote, and being fooled into believing that this harmless correspondence was to a Roman nobleman. Meanwhile, ordinary Christian folk, as they received messages, knew that each and every one of them was Philophilus, a friend of God. So I was close. <clears throat> Whether or not the theory is historical, it is certainly true today that, by the Holy Spirit, you really are the addressee of the sacred story, the friend of God to whom the word is delivered. What if every time we opened our Bibles to one of these inspired testimonies to Jesus, we began envisioning these words on the envelope, Dear Friend of God. Hmm. How beautiful to realize that God is reaching out to us through Christ with the hand of friendship. Let us pray. God, we are in awe <clears throat> that in Jesus, you call us your friend. How can we ever thank you enough? And we give thanks to you through Jesus Christ, your dear son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. <clears throat> you know, to, to be reminded that God calls us friends is a powerful thing. It's, it truly is that God loves us so much. Um, God calls us daughters and sons children of God uh, in the waters of our baptism and God considers us friends and that we are God's agents in the world, so to speak. I mean, by that, I mean, we are God's hands and feet and heart in the world. We are the ones through which God acts, through whom 
God acts in the world today. And that is truly, truly an amazing thing. Um, I hope you can dwell with that today. Just kind of sit with that and consider what it means to be a Theophilus of God. Hey, have a great day. And I hope that you, you, as you consider being a friend of God, that you can consider reaching out in friendship to others. Share some love and light in the world today. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning.